What's up guys? Carolina here. Today is April 9th. It's a Monday. I'm excited. However, my health is not with me today. Yesterday I was feeling awesome. My, my cold was pretty much gone. And then this morning I woke up with a, with a very sore throat. But as the hustler that I am and the entrepreneur that I am, I'm not gonna let that stop me. I don't have a fever or anything. I don't feel bad. I'm just not at my 100%. Uh, and I wonder why. I mean, uh, I'm gonna get checked up soon i need to get some blood tests i haven't done that in years because i've never been sick sick enough to get blood tests but um something's up with my immune system even though i eat fairly well and i take supplements something's up anyway on a brighter note i am about to get into an interview with the editor-in-chief of entrepreneur magazine in like five minutes and i collected a bunch of questions for him not from my entire audience but from a couple of people that i really care about one of them being thomas of course my husband he he studied journalism he studied journalism he worked as a journalist for several years of his career so he knows more about interviewing people than i do and a very good friend of mine, Solangeli, who has worked in media for, I don't know, a couple decades probably. And she's very well connected. She's awesome. She was with me at the Funnel Hacking live event. Uh, we pretty much attended together. And I was just uh, going through some settings here on Skype to make sure... Hello! To make sure the video and audio are gonna be fine. I'm gonna be using my Yeti mic. Guys, I have like three or four episodes for the podcast. This is gonna be, I think, the third. I was waiting to recover my voice 100% because uh, I got to do the intros for them before I can post them but I think I'm just gonna go ahead and post anyway because I haven't updated my podcast in a month and a half and that is not good in podcast world. My aim is to update twice a week. Uh, one could be an interview, the other one just me rambling or ranting or sharing thoughts about what's going on in the entrepreneurial world. That's where I'm at. I only have, yeah, I have four minutes left so I'm gonna leave you guys now in a bit. When I came in, I looked at a culture in which the word entrepreneur meant something totally different. It was being used by people who were not traditional small business people. It was being used by people who did everything across every part of business and career and whatever. And what I found was that the thing that they all have in common is that they're people who go and make things happen for themselves. So an entrepreneur is someone who does not wait for somebody else to do something for them. Okay guys, the interview went really well. I'm really excited to post it on my podcast soon. Like I said before, I'm, I'm not feeling my 100% today. I'm trying to figure out what happened. I caught a cold when I was returning from my last trip and I, I have been blaming the airplane, the air conditioning, the um, temperature changes. But yeah, like I said before, it's weird. Like, usually my immune system is way better than this. And this is like the second or third time already this year that I get sick. So something's off. Oh, hopefully nothing serious. I will keep you guys posted. I gotta wait until I feel a little bit better before I go get blood, a blood test done or it's probably not gonna turn out very well. And like I said, I don't feel bad. I'm just not feeling great. So I am incredibly excited to share guys, uh, to share with you guys all of these projects, all of these interviews, really take the podcast to the next level. So if you're watching this right now and you're still not subscribed to the podcast, just go to that link, beyondthehustle.com. Hopefully by the time you guys watch this video, it will already be available on other platforms and not just iTunes. I started with iTunes because it was the, I would say the most challenging one, or at least it seemed like the most challenging one. I can just go ahead and upload on SoundCloud anytime. Now I'm in investigating uh, what it takes to upload a vlog on Spotify. I'm sorry, not a vlog, a podcast on Spotify. Uh, so that's the next step. Uh, so SoundCloud, I'm gonna get it on Spotify. For Google Play, it's weird. Uh, I'm gonna need to use my VPN because they don't let me upload a podcast from my location from Chile, which I think it's weird. Like, hello. I mean, I can put it on iTunes. Why not Google Play? I mean, isn't Google so much better than Apple? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys. Um, I have to get on a call now. I, why did I say thank you? I guess I just wanted to say thank you for for watching, even when some of my some of my videos are not as exciting as others. Like March was an incredibly exciting month. I did so much. I, I went to all these things and all these beautiful places in nature. But I know that those of you who really appreciate me and really appreciate the content that I'm putting together, I know that you guys will enjoy these videos just as much. And I actually enjoy just, you know, sometimes just 
talking to you guys. I do have a few other videos, more than a few. I probably have like 10 plus unedited videos, like non-vlog videos that I need my team to work on. Uh, that I've been recording over the last few weeks that I just haven't been able to uh, filter and then send to my editor. So you guys will see a few of those videos soon. I'm also going to be working on a case study to show you guys how I did $100,000 in the month of March from just one income stream, which is MOB. And um, I'm very proud of the result. I'm very proud of the achievement. And I'm very excited to share how I did it with more people so that you guys can get excited about it too and see the possibility for your own life. I mean, if I can do this, I don't have any superpowers. I don't have anything that you couldn't have. Even if I did, what does it matter? You need to be you and the only person you need to compare yourself to is yourself. And I know you hear this a lot, but I will repeat it because it's important. Because once I got this, a lot of anxiety and frustration was lifted off my shoulders. Once I understood that I shouldn't be comparing myself to anybody else but who I was yesterday, that moment I felt relief and at the same time it felt exciting because that's how you gain back control over your life. When you compare yourself to other people, you are giving up control because you just there's just no way you can control the outcome in those situations. There's no way you know what that other person is gonna do next month and that you're gonna have to figure out how to top what they did. And living your life depending on what other people do or don't do or feeling good because certain competitor uh, went down now and so that makes you feel good. That That's just, that's no way to live your life and that's not the best way really to build your business. It's good to be aware of what the competition is doing. It's good to model what they're doing, but only compete with yourself. All right, I have to get on a call now with Luke Hawkins, amazing NLP coach and client of mine. Uh, you guys might remember he was here in December and then we met up again briefly in Orlando at the Funnel Hacking event. It was awesome to see him again. So I'm gonna go talk to him. We are building some campaigns for him with my team. We're building, uh, building his funnels and his Facebook ads. By the way, if you're interested in that, if you would like me and my team build your funnels and run Facebook ads for you, simply go to socialadsagency.com. You can also grow your Instagram account organically. We can help you create brand awareness for you and your brand and your products. Uh, we got it all figured out. Everything social media, socialadsagency.com and we'll help you. All right, I'll see you guys soon. So I'm here in the living room now with my laptop, waiting for Luke to be able to get on the call. I love working with this guy because he's hungry, he's passionate, he's very knowledgeable about his craft, he's not afraid to take risks, and he's not afraid to learn stuff or to invest in himself, which is something that I've seen him do over the last few months very consistently. And it's showing in his results. He has a, He's built a seven-figure coaching business, which I think is beautiful, it's awesome. He's probably the most successful in what he does in his entire country. Now, when I see stories like that, I think it's really inspiring for all of you guys who have a dream of pursuing something in your life that has to do with helping other people, like Luke has, it's inspiring. Like You can do it. If you have that dream, you can do it. Just keep hustling, keep persisting, make it a reality. I can't find my iPhone. Um, 